I've always been asked how the work in the future will look like. And I've always given a consistent answer. And the answer is that work in the future would look not like what we have today. In the next 10, 15, 20 years, most of the jobs we have available right now will actually have disappeared and new ones will have emerged to replace them. So it is so necessary that we look at the future of work. But before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you get notifications every time we upload a new video. So in continuing on the future of work, the work in the next 30 years will be totally different from what we know today. And if you know that, it also creates an opportunity for us to prepare for that. One of the three things that we know that will happen in the future will follow the top three trends that we are seeing today. COVID-19 and with the emergence of new technology have actually accelerated the transformation that is happening in the workplace. And one of the first things that we we'll notice that, ha that is happening all over the world is the increased number of people working remotely. Remote work has actually disrupted the way we work and communicate. And remote work and virtual meetings is going to become the new normal in the years to come. Many researches have been done on this by the World Economic Forum, McKinsey, Deloitte, and other research institutions. And it shows that by 2025, more than 70% of the workforce will have to be working remotely at least once in a week. And this actually creates a new paradigm shift in the way that the workspace is being managed. And it will also increase the number of virtual meetings that are being held all over the world. Remote work will also necessitate the creation of new tools for the management of staff performances. And so it actually creates a new opportunity for software in this area. Also, if you are working remotely, it means that you have to be very good at self-management, self-evaluation, and be driven by yourself because no other person will be supervising you. So you see that skills in emotional intelligence and other soft skills that will be necessary for you to be able to thrive well in a remote workplace. In a remote work, it means that employers will start demanding for certifications in soft skills like emotional intelligence. And that creates a whole lot of new opportunities for companies to train employees on these areas. But remote work also doesn't mean that it's all problem-free. It has its own demerits because basically 73% of all employees are finding it difficult to adapt from the physical office work to remote work. And so many workers are finding it difficult to really understand and maximize their productivity while working at home. Also, 65% of employers says that it is very difficult to maintain employee morale why they are working remotely. In the future, machines will be able to carry out the tasks that humans really do. Also complement the tasks we do now. Most importantly, machines will be able to even go beyond the work we can be able to do. So this actually calls for a whole lot of new changes as it will create new jobs as well as displace old jobs. As the time goes on and machines keep replacing humans in the workplace, we need to be able to adapt to a new kind of job that will be more often than the physical manual labor that can already be wiped out by machines. Another trend that is going to affect the future of work is automation and machine intelligence in the workplace. As machines actually grow to complement human labor in the workplace, we really need to adapt to be able to reap the benefits. Employees will need to focus on trainings that will help them adapt to these future job roles. So there will be a whole lot of reskilling and retraining to be able to acquire new skills that will help them in the future. Trainings on artificial intelligence, data mining, data analysis, machine learning, software development, robotics, product design will be the new skills that will help them to be useful in the future. And also, companies will also need to invest in human resource training so that they can be able to rescale their workforce and be able to get them maintain their productivity or even increase it and also be relevant and be competitive in the future. According to the World Economic Forum, by 2025, 85 million jobs will be displaced by automation, while 97 new jobs will emerge. Also, 50% of the current workforce will require to rescale themselves in different occupations. And also, 40% of the current skill set of employees will need to be retrained and reskilled for them to be able to adapt to the future workplace. Another the third trend we are going to discuss 
which we are going to also shape the future of work would be an increase in business outsourcing as well as freelancing and the use of contingent staff. Since technology is making remote work a whole lot easier, it means that many companies will actually be outsourcing their jobs instead of employing permanent staff. So you see a whole lot of people, they are used as contingent staff instead of permanent staff. And companies will start even outsourcing so many of their jobs to freelancers instead of basically employing them. So one of the big goals that is going to explode in the future is that there will be more jobs for freelancers and the roles for freelancers will increase and the number of jobs being outsourced will actually double in size than the present situation. What it means is that People who train themselves to actually acquire fixed fee sales that companies will need and some companies can outsource to will actually be in worse in demand. And people who also have the ability to negotiate and market their own skills will actually be the hottest earners in the future. Freelancing makes it a whole lot easier for people to even get jobs across borders. So people can be in Africa and get jobs in Europe. So this makes a whole lot of sense. It actually means that your skill can be in demand, not only in your geographical location, but also across the borders. So platforms that will help people get freelancing jobs will also explode and become more useful and more prominent in the future. Also, payment systems that are across borders that solve the problem of paying people across borders will also be of serious use and of serious importance in the future. I think these are the three most important trends we have looked into the future. If you feel you have suggestions for new trends you feel that will shape the future, you can actually comment in the, our comment section under this video. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button so you get notifications anytime we upload new videos. Thank you.